Shalom. We all in great place to Yahweh by Shem Yasha by Shem Hakudas. That was through the Arabs of Hathor Great Millstone. The teaching is Christian Society. The teaching of the whole for life put it forth in the third. So the title of this lesson will be is Seven was Yahweh by Shem Yasha. Okay, so Seven was Yahweh by Shem Yasha. Uh, Revelation 3 and 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into. I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me, right? So when you use that word sup, because um, you can also look it up in the Google definition. But let me get it right here. Um, sup. Okay, so when you use that word sup, um, it means to sup, okay? Um, take the principal or even the meal, right? So when you're supping, you're like digesting. Okay, I think that word is um, supping, okay? It's a bit of a different dish here. Supping to take a drink, a liquid, a food by itself or a spoon for food, okay? So that when we get the word sup, it means to digest, right? And when you look at it spiritually, we're spiritually digesting, okay? We're spiritually supping, okay? Which go back what? To this word, okay? To this understanding, right? So when we're doing that, you know, we are supping with the Lord, okay? By studying, you know, by, you know, learning you know we're supping with the lord spiritually on a spiritual level okay so i would so behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door i will come in to to him and will sup with him and he with me and the lord doing that how spiritually okay spiritually because everything is spiritually okay nothing cardinal all right so when we're supping or when we're supping or when the lord is supping with that we're spiritually digesting um you know this word, okay. Um, now, one Peter two and two, okay. It says, "As newborn babes desire the sincere miracle of the word, that ye may grow thereby." Right. So when we first come to the truth, you know, we are as newborn babes, right? Spiritually, you know, uh, just like Yahweh told the uh, Pharisee in John three, right? He said that, you know, unless you be born through the Spirit, okay, you know. So before when we come to the truth, we have to be, be born through the Spirit, all right? You know. And probably being born, being born, being reborn to the spirit, being what, becoming a new man, right in the Lord, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, all right. So, um, John three, um, it says, in, um, let me see, John three five, it says, Yahweh Shah, answer, very, very, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Messiah. Okay, so we have to be. be be born of the water, you know, the spirit, all right, you know, you know, in part being born the water in the spirit, what like then, um, the water being purified, all right, being cleansed, okay, being renewed, okay, through the word, all right, you know, through the understanding, okay, you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven, all right, and that which is born of the flesh is the flesh, you know, because we all are, if we're into the truth, we all are newborn babies, right, you know, we are our newborn babies, okay. So, and that which is born of the spirit, spirit, okay? Yeah, you know? Which is it, um, you know? So, they're, they're two different rebirths, right? No, they're two different rebirths. Physically, we come back to this earth, okay? And, you know, we live out a judgment on the earth, right? That's a, they're physically being reborn through our mothers, okay? Then, spiritually, a spiritual rebirth is, you know, being reborn in the spirit, okay? Do the, Names of the Lord, Yahweh Shasha, okay? Being renewed, being a renewed my, um, person, okay? So, second, first Peter 2 and 2. Um, for first Peter 2 and 2, okay? Let's see if I can get it here. It says, um, as newborn babes, okay, First Peter 2, 2 says, as newborn babes desire the sincere miracle of the word that ye may grow thereby, all right? So we have, to, we have to be as newborn babes, okay? You know, as newborn babes in the spirit desire the sincere miracle of the word, which is the basic, okay, the basic, okay, you know, of this, um, of these um, precepts, these scriptures, okay? You know, that's, and we have to desire the sincere miracle of the word, which means what we have to study, okay? By desiring, we are doing what? We're studying, okay? We're learning, okay? There are elder, elders, okay? The one that came into the church before us, that you may grow thereby, okay? That we may grow thereby, okay? You're supposed to grow in the spirit, right?
you know, we are, because, you know, before we are, you know, even me, I'm considered, I'm like, you know, only, I'll say like, <laughs> like a month, one month year, like, you know, because uh, I ain't coming to the church, like, you know, probably like two or three years ago, you know, and learning, right, studying and doing all that, you know, so, but we're growing, but we're growing, growing, that's the point, right? We all have to, we all have to grow in this um, truth, all right? We all have to grow, grow in this word, all right? Um, uh, it says, if so be ye have ta tasted that the Lord is gracious, all right? That the Lord is um, gracious, okay? You know, by giving us this understanding in the uh, spirit, okay, of his word, you know, the, so the Lord is very gracious, okay? Um, 2 Timothy 2 and 13, let's see. 2 <clears throat> Timothy 2 and 15 it says study to show thyself a, thyself a prayer to the most high um, a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth alright so we're supposed to be um, studying okay you know that's something with the Lord by studying alright studying to show our self approved in the Lord okay you know to show our self approved in the Lord um Study to show thyself or prove unto the most high, right? We're proving we we have to you know by learning, okay, by studying. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, right? Because well, we are considered servants unto the Lord, right? No matter our walk, okay, we're considered we're considered um, ser servants to the Lord, right? So we had to what? We had to constantly um, um, study, right? You know. Um, that needed not to be ashamed, okay? You know, because what well, when people ask us questions, you know, about what we're doing, okay, about what you know what we're speaking about, you know, we're supposed to be able to answer them, okay? Not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, okay? Rightly dividing the word of truth, right? You know, knowing what precepts go with what topics, okay, you know, know how to break down different, you know, precepts and all that, okay? That's that's given by what? By studying, okay? Constantly, you know, 24-7. No, not 24-7, but like, you know, when we, you know, by putting in that work, basically, okay? Because we're, we are, we are constantly plowing, right? We have to constantly build up in the spirit. Um, Ezekiel, okay? Um, 2 and 10. Ezekiel 2 and 10. Um, so, yeah, this was what, what um, Ezekiel, um, basically was called, right? Um, Ezekiel 2 and 2. Actually, I'm going to do this one. Ezekiel 2 and 1, I'm going to build up. It says, It said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the, and the Spirit entered unto me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. All right? So this was basically Ezekiel commission, okay? And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, and to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me, okay? You know, because what? Israel kept going off, okay? Because, you know, Israel referring to the 12, whole 12 tribes of Israel, you know, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, right? You know, they were practicing idolatry, uh, worshiping the other gods, right? Has rebelled against me, okay? They have rebelled against the Lord, right? By what? Disobeying his laws, statutes, and commandments. They, 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 that, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. Okay, for they are impudent children and stiff hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord the Most High. Okay, so they are impudent children, all right? You know, uh, we can get that word impudent. Um, we can get our here, impudent. Um, let's see. Impudent, okay. Me to hard, cruel, okay. Hard or difficult, difficult, rigorous, all right. You know, you know, which means they're hard, like they're hard hearted, okay. You know, they can't, you know, they can't um, get right, you know, they always, they always going off, you know, it's just, they, they, like they're stubborn, okay, in the spirit, in the spirit, they're hard, they're hard hearted, they're stubborn, right, you know, which we all you know. We, so we all uh, certainly rebel, rebel against the Lord, right? But through the grace of the Lord, you know, through the mercy of the Lord, sending his son, Yahushua, you know, he he sacrificed himself, right, by dying on the cross, okay? You know, by the, you know, what, that was showing what, the great, the great, the good graces of the Lord, Yahweh, right? You know, 
and through the Yahweh Shah blood, we are able to repent. All right, which which ultimately that's uh, what it's all about. All right. Um, let me see. It says um, Ezekiel two nine. I'm gonna jump down to here. It says, and when I looked, behold, in hand was sent unto unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. Okay, so this is referring to what the Bible. Okay, this was, uh, you no, know, this basically the Lord supping with um, Ezekiel at this point. Uh, when you jump down to here, Ezekiel two nine, it says Ezekiel two and ten says, and he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. Okay, and there was, and, and there was written there in limitations and mourning and woe. Okay, limitation, mourning, and woe, right? Because when we digest this truth, when we accept, when we accept from the Lord, you know, they're going to be, you know, that's that bitterness and that sweetness, okay? You know, and that bitterness is what? Knowing that, um, that limitation, that limitation knowing what? That we have to, you know, we're going to have to sacrifice some things for the Lord, right? You know, that we might um, die, okay, in the faith, right? And mourning and woe, okay? Mourning and woe. Right, wish that word will go back to distortion, right? You know, so um, let me, let me open it here. <clears throat> Morning and woe limitations, okay? Limitation, right? Um, dar um, dargy, right? Um, limitation, okay? Morning, so right when you go when you let word limitation go back to the word morning, okay? <clears throat> I'm getting an NRT. NRT says, which he arrowed, and I saw that both sides were covered with funeral songs, words of sorrow, and pronouncements of doom. Okay? Pronouncements of doom, right? Saying that what? That, you know, um, that ultimately that the, um, I'm pretty sure that he was prophesied against the, um, at this time, I think the North Keys and the Southern Keys, right? That the Babylon was going to what? Was going to come, <coughs> um, you know, take them cat tip, cat cat tip, right? So, um, um, yeah. So before I close out here, I'm gonna um, get one more. Um, the word was sweet as honey. Um, picture that Psalms, um, Psalms 119 and one uh, Psalms uh, 119. Okay. All right, um, Psalms 119 and 3, it says, How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Right, you know, the word, the word, the words of the Lord is, um, you know, when you first, like, you know, when you start reading, right, they're going to be sweet, right, you know, knowing that what, we, you know, Israelites, you know, that's a sweet, um, that's a sweet, bitter part of body, all right, knowing that we are Israelites, okay, knowing that, um, you know our heritage okay you know that have been taken away away from us right you know that's that's a sweet part about it okay you know know that we're Israelites right so know that the other nations you know these heathens right that the Lord is gonna come back to destroy them that they're going captivity right you know we you know that's a, that's sweet okay know that our enemies are going to captivity all right yeah sweeter than honey to my mouth okay it was sweeter than honey to my mouth, okay. Do thy precepts, I get understanding. All right, in part, and do my do thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way, right? You know, false doctrine, etc. You know, and ultimately, do thy precepts, I get understanding. Goes back to the spirit, the spirit of the um, the, the spirit of the um, Lord. Okay, you know, and because again, anyone can just pick up the Bible and read it, right? But if they don't have the spirit of um. Lord did it with them, but they're not gonna understand a thing. Any uh, in the um, in the Bible, right? And our elders always go into that. They always mention that. Okay. So I'm gonna, um, you know, close it here. Let me see. So, um, see, that's his heat. So that readers. Um, Revelation 1 and 3, okay. 
blue valor Revelation 1 and 3 What Revelation 1 3 says, Blessed is he that readeth, okay, and they that hear the words, okay, of this prophecy, all right? Blessed is he that readeth, all right? So, in order for us to understand the words of the Lord, we have to read, all right? You know, we have to read and we have to pray. Sometimes we have to pray if we don't we need certain understanding, right? But the Lord sees that we're trying, you know. Um, if the Lord sees that we're trying, you know, we're reading, right? He's going to give us, he's going to increase our understanding, right? Well, it's all through prayers, right? You know, because it's what? Faith, okay? It all goes back to having faith, you know? Um, the Lord said what? That if we have a faith of a grain mustard seed, right, we'll be able to tell the mountain, you know, to move, right? We'll be able to, you know, tell the mountain to move, right? So the Lord, he really, you know, desires a faithful servant, okay? You know, uh, so yeah, um, read again. Revelation 1 3 says, Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy. Okay, you know, because what was you know, the, um, these modern curl, the modern world events, right? You know, the different world events that are that are happening now, right? Are uh, all was written, um, in the um, scriptures, right? And the prophecies, right? You know, um. All these modern world events okay so you now when we read you know we get understanding of different world events different current current world events okay and we're able to um break it down through the um scriptures ultimately okay um so yeah blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of the prophecy and keep those things which are written therein right we have to keep them right you know we have to keep them we have to you know um, continue to go over them, you know, continue to read, right, you know, that's what, keeping the word of the prophecy, breaking them, breaking them down through crowd, through crowd road events, okay, you know, that's keeping the words of the prophecy, you know, um, what did, what did, um, the Lord told Ezra to do, measure the time that diligently, okay, measure the time that diligently, how do we measure the time, okay, we measure this time through the uh, Bible, okay, through the through the scriptures, through the precepts, right? You know, that's how we measure the time, right? Um, yeah, so measure time, measure the time that diligently, diligently, uh, and was that see the I'm gonna give that precept as well. Richer their end, okay, for for the time is at hand, right? For the time is at hand, which means that this what that the uh, is near, okay? You know, it's near, right? Okay. You know, the kingdom, um, the kingdom of the Lord is at hand, right? It's near, right? Um, so, um, okay, let's see, measure the time diligently, okay? Second is just not one, you know? Because let's all go back what from to supplement the Lord, you know. Y'all go back to one thing. He answered Second Ezra nine one says he answered me um, then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself." Okay, measure thou the time diligently in itself. All right, you know. And like I mentioned, part of measuring the time is through the um, precepts ultimately. Okay? okay, and when thou seest part of these five paths, okay. And we send them now, okay, wars, and rumors of wars, okay, pestilence, you know, you have um, different outbreaks, you know, people, you know, um, things happening, okay, you know, in Haiti, okay, you know, that's, you know, signs, okay, signs, earthquakes in various places, okay, those are signs that you want, the Lord's coming back, okay, you know, which I have told you before, okay, you know, and what, the Lord, and we get a bunch of those in Matthew 24, okay, you know, Matthew 24 has a long list of um, signs, right, you know, they're going to ultimately come to pass right now, right, and we only, and we only can know those signs by what, by something, by, re by something, by reading, by digesting the word of the um, Lord, right, 
um, so yeah, um, so again, you know, what we read, okay, the word or the, uh, what we read is gonna be as, you know, you're gonna be sweet as honey, right? You're gonna be a lamentation more than well, because there's are some, you know, this is all we all understand as Christians, they say that the Lord is all, you know, He's all good, which is, you know, the Lord is good, you know, to those one that um, do as well, but ultimately, you know, the Lord, He do pronounce judgment, okay? He do pronounce the judgment, okay? Um, he pronounced the ju judgment, right? So, yeah. Um, probably gonna close it here. Um, you know, just you know, something I want to um, go into. You know, it's pretty one a day. Um, but yeah, um, the spirit had me going to it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna close it here. Okay, by giving all under my praises to Yahweh by Shem. Y'all shout out to Shem. Come on, Shem. Do that song.